Ryan Garcia versus Tank Davis to come to fruition. Let's speak to Ryan Garcia. Here he is joining us. Excited to talk to him. There he is. Ryan, my man, what's going on? Life is good. How are you doing? I'm doing great. You're looking big, man. You're looking swole. What's going on? How much you weigh? Holy shit. What's happening over there? I'm just a strong boy. You know, I'm just super strong. I, I, I just, you know, I'm growing. 24 wow. years old. How, how much you weigh right now? About 150. Okay. Is it, what's the biggest you've ever been? Like 155. Okay. Well, you're looking great. Yeah. Very excited Thank to you. talk to you. Uh, very excited you about it. You look good, too. Oh yeah. Thanks, man. I appreciate yeah. that. Thank you. That's very good. Cool. Sure. Thank you. Well, you know, when I'm in the presence oh, of royalty, I got to come correct. You always come correct. Oh, thank You're you. You're the man. Oh, thank you very much. That's very kind of you. I was hoping to have you in studio. One of these days we'll have you in studio. It would be great. That would have been sick. Yeah. I was trying to do it, but you know, it didn't work out. It's, it's all, all good. good. You weren't in DC, right? No, I was in DC. Uh, I went to Rolly's fight uh, for Tank to hype it up, but this time I didn't feel like going to DC. Why not? It's not New York, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I, <laughs> I just much rather go to New York to watch a fight than DC. But DC is cool, but I just didn't feel like you know flying out of there and going through all the security stuff. And I, I didn't feel like doing none of that. You watched it though, right? Of course, yeah. What did you make of his performance? You know, a usual tank fight. He's very selective on his punches. He needs to get in a good position to land, you know, the shots that he's uh, devastating with. I think that uh, he relies on guys to burn out, uh, guys with no power. Usually when you're putting pressure on them, their uh, punches lose snap and, uh, you know, they lose focus. And that's exactly what he did. Uh, and he got the guy out of there. Uh, the guy didn't make adjustments to keep his left hand up or right hand up since he fell off. And he got caught with uh, that left over the top. That's pretty obvious what Tank was going for. But Tank, to me, fought a, a great fight. He understands the game. Uh, and I thought he did great. Uh, so if you were to give him a grade, like if you were a professor, what would you give him for that performance? I would give him a B plus, B minus. Okay, that's not too bad. Um, were you worried going into that fight? You know, it was a weird thing because we were told like, oh, we've got an agreement, but he's going to take a tune-up fight. He slips on a banana yeah. peel, whole thing goes up in smoke. Were you worried that something might happen? You know what? I was definitely worried. I was worried because I had uh, went through so many hoops to try to make this fight happen for the fans uh, after so much talking that obviously we've both been having for years. And finally getting to that point where the networks agreed to work something out and then now you know now all we have to do is find the right date and then he says he needs a tune-up i was like man this is like kind of risky because it's not that he could lose it's the fact that he could hurt his hand uh things could just happen getting ready for a fight and i'm like dude this is like to me too risky but you know he, he went and did his thing uh he had a great performance and hopefully Nothing happens between now and April. But yeah, I thought it was a big risk. I thought that uh, it didn't make sense to do. You know, I I wanted to fight in October of 2022 uh, to get, uh, to keep, you know, the momentum going. I had just fought in July and I said, you know, I'm going to fight in uh, October. And, you know, they told me they were very adamant. We're not going to fight you uh, if you take that 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 fight uh, in December. And I was like, wow, okay. Um you know, I promised the fans that I'm going to do this. And if I can't take a tune-up before that, or not a tune-up, but if I can't keep active, then whatever. I'm going to just go and fight Tank. All of a sudden, he don't want to fight in December. And then I'm like, all right, let's fight in January. He agrees to that. Then he says he needs a tune-up in January. Then he said, then, uh, you know, originally it was uh, at a certain weight. Then all of a sudden, you know, can't be at that weight. Oh. So all these things I've had to do. And I was just like, you know what? I'm not going to fight in January. I'm not going to go. I'm not going to have something out of the blue happen to me. And uh, I'm going to go straight for Tank because I truly believe I'll beat him. I've always had to believe I'll beat him. Is any part of you annoyed? Like he got the extra payday and you were kind of stopped from getting the extra payday? You know, slightly annoyed. But again, there's nothing I could do. I got to just keep bored. I know what mission I'm on. I know, uh, you know, what type of gamble it kind of is to go straight for Tank. But to me... Uh, that's what makes people great when they could do things that uh, most people won't. So is it accurate that on April 15th, 
you are going to fight Tank Davis. Like, is this 100% a done deal at this point? At this point, from my knowledge, yeah, it is. It is. Um, yeah, 100%. I, and I've seen the contract. Everything's been set. I think they're just working on the undercard. And other than that, we both agree to, to the fight. So, you know, I'm ready. I've been, I've been dying for this fight, and I'm giving my all to make it happen. So, Where is the fight taking done. place? Most likely Vegas. T-Mobile? 100%. And where will it oh, air? Arrow is going to be on Showtime. Showtime. And his own, in a way. Wow. It's going to be on both. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know the particulars, but I think you could buy it through the zone or something like that. I, I, can't, I can't really say the full details. I, I don't 100% know that aspect. I guess the reason I'm asking this stuff is because, as you know, there's a lot of cooks in the kitchen here, right? There's promoters who don't usually work together. There's networks that don't usually work together. Is there any part of you that fears that there could be any more stumbling blocks between now and whenever it's time to like officially, officially announce this? Or do you feel like you've cleared all of those stumbling blocks? Yeah, I've cleared everything. The only thing that could happen is something on Tank's side where he's like, you know, somehow he, he messes up or, you know, I don't know, trouble in a way. But I don't think he will. I think he, he you know, he knows how important this is. I think he's going to, you know, straighten up. Do yeah. his thing. Uh, to the fight. Are 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 you confident that he wants this fight as well? That like he is sincere when he says he wants this fight. I think so. I, I really do. Uh, I mean, sometimes I don't think so because he's not as loud as I am. But maybe that's just his personality. But uh, I'm trying to push the fight. I'm trying to, you know, get the fans uh, hyped up. But I guess he he doesn't take that route. You know, he's just kind of a chill guy. So that's cool. You know, I know he's going to be ready to fight, though. Uh, you, you just alluded to something. I mean, he, he got into legal trouble like a week and a half before his fight. Does that make you nervous that, you know, that close to a fight, you could get into some kind of trouble and now you have this gigantic fight on the horizon and it could potentially ruin all the plans? That is definitely a, uh, a concern. I mean, uh, I don't know his temperament. Uh, I think he might have anger problems, but you know what? I think that in that situation, I'm not going to really speak on, on that because, you know, I don't know what's going on in his personal life in that, in that dynamic, you know what I mean? About him and his girl. I don't know what they do. I don't even want to get into it. You know, yeah. I don't think it's right to, to hit anybody, you know, a female, but uh, I don't really want to speak on it too much because I don't know the full details. That is fair. I respect that. Um, how would you say, like, how would you char characterize your feelings towards him? Like, is this a personal fight for you? Do you not like this guy? Is that why you want to fight him so badly? You know, I think for me, it's just a competition thing because I've always been looked at the guy that, you know, people just assume that they could beat right off the bat for some reason. But, you know, I think, I think it's more personal for him. I mean, he, cut, he carries a, a chip on his shoulder, but those chips don't matter in, in the ring. I know, I know what I bring. I know um, what I've always known myself to do, which is go destroy people. So when it comes to a fight, you know, I, I, it's like I carry, uh, <laughs> I carry it personal, but it's not. So when we get in there, uh, we're going to be firing punches. I know he's explosive. I'm explosive. Um, I just think that he's underestimated me in a way, but even if he's not, I'm going to beat him. Uh, I had a debate with the guys on the show on Monday. I think that this uh, will be the highest selling pay-per-view in America as far as boxing is concerned this year. I think it's bigger than Fury Usyk. I think it's bigger than Spence Crawford if that happens, but I'm losing hope that that is going to happen. Like I think considering your age, your fan base, both of your records, um, everything that you have going for you, this could be gigantic. I think it could do you know, in the million range, if promoted correctly, uh, am I crazy? Do you think it, uh, it could be number one? I don't, I don't think you're crazy at all. I think, um, uh, like you said, it has potential. Um, I think that, you know, this is like, a this has so much weight to it. Like we're, we're so talented in the ring, the way we, we fight. I think that what, what else do you want? You know, two young undefeated fighters going at it in their prime finally doing it for real it's not like you know mayweather pacquiao where they took forever or you know the things we've gotten in the past this is the things they complain about and i i think that we're doing it so 
if it doesn't sell well, I don't know what will. So, <laughs> you know what I mean? So I feel like this is the, this is the fight to do it. I mean, I'm excited. Even just if I wasn't even fighting, I would be excited. And honestly, <laughs> I mean, both of you, and I feel like you, and I'm not just saying it because you're, you're sitting in front of me here. You guys deserve a lot of credit for making this happen because there's so many stumbling blocks. And, and historically, these fights, as you just alluded to, never happen in boxing. And especially at your age, with your resumes, with your records, people try to protect, they hide behind the networks, the, the, the promoters, the managers. You guys making this happen would be such a big deal. And it, it, to me, it would be like a big F you to all the older guys who aren't making fights happen for various reasons. Be like, look, the young guys who have so much more to lose are making it happen. What is your excuse? You know what I mean? Like right. every, every boxing fan should celebrate this fight if it happens and should really commend both of you for making it happen because you can use a litany of different excuses for not making it happen and you're not. And I think that's pretty damn great and pretty damn revolutionary for the sport. Yeah, I mean, I meant what I said after my fight with Fortuna. You know, they were questioning on if it could happen. I said, if there's a will, there's a way. And I wanted to be a man of my word. Um, I And I refused to let the fight go by, even though I had outs and I had ways to, you know, say, you know, they're messing with me too much, which you could make an argument they were. But guess what? I said to myself, um, I'm willing to make every sacrifice I have to do to make this happen. And I'm going to do it. And I'm going to win. So that's how confident I am. And yeah, it's a, I hope it's an example to the older guys, younger guys, everybody coming up that when you really want something, there's always a way to make it happen. You just got to either suck up your ego. There got to be somewhere you got to give in. And I feel like I did. And this is going to be all worth it at the end. By the way, when you say they were messing with you, do you mean about that stuff you were just talking about, the December stuff and all that or something else? Yeah, I just think that they were trying to give me ways to say, you know, F this, I'm not going through all this, you uh. know, especially with the way, with the changing of dates, you know, trying to prolong my inactivity, then, you know, all all this stuff is just, it's just a game, you know, saying I'm on steroids, I see all the tricks, uh, but they don't know who they're messing with. My, my mentality is strong, whether they believe it or not. Uh, I, I, I've been to deep places within myself, so. None of this could actually affect me. And I'm ready just to eat them up. That's it. You know, do all you want, you know, put up, you know, make me go through everything. I'm going to come out on top. What about his comments recently uh, questioning your your mental health and you using that as a quote unquote excuse? Do you feel like that was too far? Do you think that crossed the line? How did you feel about it? I don't think it crosses the line. I just think that he's, he doesn't really have much. Uh, he's not educated on that matter. On that matter, he's not educated because, uh, People just don't know what it is to to really be in that um, that deep, you know, mental torture until they go through it. I've heard this time and time again. You know, I don't believe in it. And then when they go through it, they're like, wow, that changed my life. You know, so when you get to that point, you know, you just mature. I feel like I've matured past this, uh, past where he's at, you know, in his own mental uh, mentality on the ways he thinks. Uh, I've already been there, done that, and I'm way past it. So, uh, you know, I just care for people. I think I care for people a lot and I want people to, you know, get better, get better. Just like theory had to, there's so many examples of people going through and coming back stronger. And I think that I want everybody to really to have that opportunity. So I'm not going to knock him for his comments. He just has to learn for himself. Um, and, and that's it. You know what I mean? I'm not going to speak bad on him, but I just know that, um, Maybe just not educate on the map. How are you doing these days mentally? Amazing. That that whole experience had made made me so much stronger. No matter what I've lost, I needed to lose it so I could get stronger. And I think that um, I'm so happy that I went through it. I matured so much in my mind. You know, I don't think so much as a kid anymore. I think more as a man and um, living by truth and just a deeper understanding of myself. And I think that's what I. That's what I needed most. Do you need to do things? A lot with Sorry, go ahead. No, no, you go ahead. Uh, do you need to Probably. do things on a daily basis to, to stay on the the right track mentally? Uh, I mean, not really. Well, I mean, it teaches you a lot, right? Your, your mental, I mean, it first starts with your body, right? Your body has to be, you know, cleansed. And then it starts with your, you know, personal, your, your personal relationships with people. 
then it goes into yourself. So as long as you get those three things, you know, you can pretty navigate, pretty much navigate, you know, your mental health. Those are the things that it stems from. Um, and I just try to keep my body correct, uh, my relationships with people. I love everybody, try to forgive everybody, be grateful for everything, and just really have a perspective of the glass is half full at all times and look at, you know, not the problem, but the solution. That's what I do. I don't look at problems. I just look at the solution. You know, if there's a thing in my way, well, what's the solution? What should I do? You know, what's the truth of the matter? Don't trust my feelings. Trust the truth. And that's how I live by now. And I feel much better. I feel more grounded and uh, just sharper. When you see other fighters, let's say like a Regis Progre, use that as like a way to, you know, poke you. Does that annoy you? Do you feel like that's cheap? You know, I don't, I just feel for them. There's something wrong, not something wrong, but they just haven't matured. You know, it's a lack of maturity and they'll, as men, they'll grow up, you know, maybe they're, they're older than me, but they haven't matured mentally. And when you get to a level of maturity and, you know, emotionally, you don't say those type of things. You just kind of learn how to, you know, self-improve yourself. You're in love with that. You know, you're not in love with bringing people down. I, I'm not in love with that. I'm in love with, how can, you know, I self-improve so I can make everybody else self-improve, you know, give everybody gems on things I discover in my own mind and my own self. So I think I just feel for them. They're just, they, they lack maturity emotionally. Uh, by the way, you beat Javante Davis and, and you're confident that you will. Who's the big fight after Javante? Now, you know, like you, you got to keep climbing mountains, right? Like who would be the next one off, on the list for you? I just want to destroy all Southpaws. You know, it's something about Southpaws. I just on a mission. You know, I went Luke Campbell, Fortuna. Uh, after Javante, I want to go out to Lomachenko. Um, and, you know, who, whichever other Southpaws out there. What I'm, is it about I'm the Southpaws? Southpaws. Well, why, why you don't like I the Southpaws? I just love fighting them. Yeah, I've been born to fight Southpaws my whole life. I have no clue why. My brother was Southpaw. Uh, <laughs> sparred him all the way since I was eight years old. My best friend was the Southpaw. He was about 180 when I used to spar him all the time. All my biggest victories in uh in some of my amateur days were against Southpaw. I just I don't know. I have a I I just don't lose to Southpaw. The that's Southpaw it. killer. That's just call me that. I'm a Southpaw killer. I love it. I'm gonna destroy I'm gonna just I'm really gonna destroy Javante Davis. And I'm actually gonna I can't wait for that moment to happen. Just the people are gonna be like, This is surreal. I can't believe he just did this to this man that he's like a mini Mike Tyson, but you got a little Lennox Lewis right here just whooping his ass like that's crazy yeah. what do you think <laughs> i can't wait what do you think like what what, what, what round what round and you know i always say second round just something i feel but that early you know what he gets hurt he gets hit early and i don't think he thinks my power is really what it is he just doesn't know but uh if that doesn't happen i'm gonna beat him for 12 rounds because we're both high level we both have a long background in amateurs. We both have an understanding of the game. Like, I know what he's trying to do. I've seen him fight so many times. So, if anything, I'm going to make his face, like, disfigure after 12 rounds. Wow. I think either that or he gets knocked out, too. But he will not knock me out. I promise you that. I promise you that. And I feel as you get better and older and bigger it's probably going to be hard to find sparring partners. And I see that you're, you're a fan of Helwani boxing. You've been emulating my style. Actually, we have a, uh, a side by side here. I want to know if what you think of my, of my technique. If you need me to come out, see here I am. I mean, your technique is pretty good, but look oh. at my movement over there. I mean, look at the hips, look at the yeah, angles. Yeah. What do you think of that? I mean, if I'm being honest, GC used one of my old clips. He didn't use one of my newer clips, but it's fine. I still feel confident in my abilities. What do you think? You think you need me out there? Some help? What do you think? I need to go to your gym and help you out just a little bit. Oh, you think I need help? <laughs> we'll, get you a, we'll, get, we'll get you a matchup with somebody. You think, wow, you think I could be on one of those cards? I could be one of those crossover uh, honestly, guys. Uh, honestly, you probably could. The way, that, the way that things are going right now, you're that guy. Wow. <laughs> me versus Dylan Dennis. Who wins? What do you think? He just drops out right before the, the fight. <laughs> <laughs> he, he realizes that your training level just got so good. He just starts trembling. His nightmares come and he just overcomes them. He just, that, I, that's the fight I should agree to because it'll never happen, right? Exactly. And you just they just see you as that guy he was scared of. And you're just known as the Dylan Dennis killer. 
<laughs> he says he can't find a team. Would you would you train Dylan Dennis? Honestly, I don't know. I mean, that guy is just he's so strange to me. I don't even know what his, his deal is. I really don't. I don't know anything. He just a the master troll. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. I don't know if I could even train. I don't even know if he's really training. I can't trust anything he does or say. Right. Like, what is he going to, he's going to come to the gym, but then I come to the gym and then I'm like, okay, he's not training. So I, I'm probably going to have to do a hard pass on that. He was supposed to fight KSI this weekend. Will you tune into those fights? Like, do you, do you watch that stuff? Sometimes. I mean, if, it's, if Jake's fighting, I'll watch. You know, I like Jake. Jake's been my friend for some time now. Um, so I'll watch Jake. But other than that, not really. I don't really like to watch those. Right. You like the, the actual real fights. Course, I mean, I've been growing up on it, right? So, I, so I love, I love you. and we're all good with what all you. You like watching all of them? I love watching them. I well, actually, I, I came out with my um, oh, you mean the crossovers? No, I like the real stuff yeah. more. No, no, sorry, sorry, yeah. I mean, I'll tune you know, Jake, obviously, I've, I've worked some of his fights for Showtime, and I have respect for KSI, but it's not the same. And then when there's a big drop off after those guys, no, I, I would choose you know, fights involving people like you a thousand times over theirs. I actually recently had my pound for pound list come out and I saw you agreed with the list. So I got a lot of shit for my list, but you, you actually said that you agreed with it, right? Yeah. I thought it was, I was pretty spot on. Honestly, I'm going to read it. So people know what I'm talking about here because, uh, I, I was like, wow, I'm getting so much shit. And then I saw you give me props and I was like, you know what? If Ryan Garcia agrees with my list, then I feel good. This was my top five, Terrence Crawford, Alexander Usyk. What? Dimitri Bivol, Canelo Alvarez, Naoya Inoue. I would put Inoue skill-wise high, but he hasn't had the competition. You know, he's kind of a victim of that. What do you think? He's a victim of being. He's a victim at being at that lower weight class. But you know, in a way, to me, you don't see talent like that. I mean, the last time I seen talent like that, maybe Manny Pacquiao in his prime. You know, speed power is just just out of this world. So I agree with that, and I think your list is uh, it, it's very uh logical. Thank Makes you. The most sense. Where are you on the and, list? Uh, I I don't know. After I beat Javante Davis, I don't really care about being on this. To be honest, I just care about winning. So sooner or later, you know, as I win these big fights, they should put me on there. If not, I don't. Honestly, I don't even care. You don't I really care. Don't. I don't care about this. No. Okay. So, well, they can't deny you <laughs> once you start beating these guys. You'll be in that conversation too. <laughs> and all, all good with Oscar. You you guys cool? Yeah, yeah, me and Oscar are cool. Uh, yeah, we're all good. Did he really buy abs? What's going on over there? <laughs> <laughs> What's happening? I guess he did. I guess What's he happening did. over there? He said it himself. He said he paid a lot for the abs. <laughs> uh, I didn't know if he was joking or not. What is going on? Is that true? He's that serious. He's living <laughs> his, his life. <laughs> <laughs> what so is... When I seen that, I was like, oh, shit. Like, bro, just he at that gym crazy. <laughs> I didn't even know you could buy abs. What is going on? You can actually insert abs? I guess so. I think it's called ab sketching or etching, whatever that. Is. I don't know. Okay. All right. I, I read something like that. Much love, Oscar. Love okay. It. So April. So you could tell me right now, April 15th, I could book the travel. It is happening. April 15th, Ryan Garcia, Tank Davis, one of the biggest fights in recent boxing history. You feel 100% confident. Nothing is going to happen. It's going to be a done deal. They're going to announce it. You're going to do a press conference, the whole thing. 100%. I, I can tell you right now that it's going to happen and uh, be ready and be great. Press conference. Do you know what I'm gonna it get, is? I'm going to get hyped. I'm going to get hyped when it, it actually gets announced, but okay. I could, I could confidently say that we both have, we have both agreed me and Javante. And do you know when they're going to officially announce it? Like officially press release, like everything, you know, when that's happening? No. Uh, I mean, I've gotten where like in a week, week and a half. Wow. We'll that see. soon. That soon. Press conference? Yeah. Uh, I don't know that, but but. Okay, I just want to see. I want to see you guys up there on the stage. I want. I want. Me you know, too. You know me what I mean? Too. I want all. I want all that too. Trust me. If anybody's been waiting a long time, it's me. Yeah. All right. Well, you're the man, Ryan. Can't wait for it. Wish you all the best. Can't, I love I mean, you. Man. I want you there. I want you there, uh, front row. I will be there. You have my word. I just see me beat them while everybody's face just like. Oh. Like, they're just looking out like, what, what just happened? Like, why did he get knocked out? I just want you to be like, man, that's my guy. That's right my now. guy right there. I just knew that he was that guy. And, you know, when everybody turned their back against him, thought he was going to lose, he won. I have and had I'm gonna your look back. At you like, 
I've had exactly. your back. See, you have had my back. That's why I'm like, you know what? I, I need I need guys like that right in the front row, just in the trenches where everybody's like, you're going to lose, you're going to lose. And me and you are just like, nah, we're going to win. Yeah, F you. You got this. You know what? Exactly. If the deal's not done yet, tell the boys at the zone you need Hawani there. Working, you know, I'll go in the locker room, I'll interview you before the bike. Like, come on, I, can, I got a tux. Why not? Tell the boys at the zone. Exactly. All right. I'm going to do that. All right. Listen, you want a big fight? You want a big fight feel? You call Helwani. All right? I don't just exactly. show up for any you, fight. You bring that vibe. You bring that vibe. You want to know why? Because you never quit, even when they bullied you for no reason. You're just a guy that's out here grinding. I See, I respect people like that. I can see through the lies. Yo, you know what? Listen. Oh, my gosh. I, I like you. You've, you've just vaulted up my personal pound for pound list. You're number one after this little thing right here. You know what? It's going to be that way. So oh. You're just right. hug you predicting right now. the future. I love it. I love it. You're the man, Ryan. Much love. Can't wait. I'll see you out there. Let's go. I mean, what is that all about? That is incredible stuff right there. Ryan Garcia telling me he's not, he essentially said he's not fighting unless I'm there. Is that what he said? 